the three candidates for Norway's Prime Minister Erna Solberg from the Conservatives, Jonas Garstoner from Labour Party and Trig V. Slagsvold Vedum from the Centre Party attend a debate in central Oslo, Norway August 9, 2021. Picture taken August 9, 2021. Reuters slash Gladys Fouché. Summary Final day of voting, polls close at 1900 GM conservatives seen losing power after eight years opposition labor and allies widely expected to win debate over oil versus climate, inequality versus tax tough coalition talks await. Oslo, Sept 13, Reuters, Norway was voting on Monday on the final day of a parliamentary election dominated by climate change and economic inequality with the center-left opposition widely expected to replace a conservative-led government that has ruled for eight years. Norway's status as a major oil and gas producer has been at the center of the campaign though a transition away from petroleum, and the jobs it creates, is likely to be gradual whoever wins. Opinion polls show Labour is on course to replace Prime Minister Erna Solberg's coalition but would need support from at least two more parties to secure a majority of seats, setting the stage for post-election bargaining. Read more. The person projected to become the next Prime Minister, Labour leader Jonas Garstoyan, hopes Labour, the Centre Party and the Socialist Left will between them win a majority and form a government. Read more. Like Solberg, he wants to give oil firms time to adapt their engineering prowess gradually to pursue green technologies such as offshore wind turbines. I believe that calling time on our oil and gas industry is the wrong industrial policy and the wrong climate policy, Stoner told reporters on Sunday after casting his ballot on the first day of the election. But polls show he could become dependent on either the Red Party, which wants social reforms based on Marxist ideology, or the Green Party, which wants to shut down all of Norway's oil production by 2035. Ruling in a minority could also be an option for Labour. Stoner says his government would focus on cutting the country's CO2 emissions in line with the 2015 Paris Agreement, but has rejected any ultimatum over energy policy. If he wins, Stoner has pledged to address inequality by cutting taxes for low- and middle-income families and hiking rates for the rich, 